Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, so in this video, I will be writing my batch generator because uh, it is another uh, like super important thing. So let me tell you why I need this kind of batch generator. Suppose uh, here, if you're using some lower configuration machine, okay? Uh, suppose here I'm using, here I have like you can say, so here, if, if I show you my machine configuration, here I'm using Google Colab, okay? The free version of Google Colab. So here I have RAM 12 GB, okay? And I have disk like, uh, 78 GB okay uh, so this is my configuration of this machine okay so here if I show you uh, if you want to check the GPU also you can check so just write NVIDIA SMI okay now if I execute this command here you will see which GPU you got so I got here Tesla T4 okay and here you will see the memory size and all okay so what basically happens so when we train our data okay when we pass our data to my model instead of passing all of the data together, I need to pass batch by batch, okay? Why? Because see, if you have like uh, 10,000 example, okay? If you just give 10,000 example together, your memory might get crash, okay? Because your memory cap capacity is not that much, okay? So what do you need to do? You need to generate batch. Suppose you have 10,000 10, data, just try to generate batch as 2,000, okay? Just every epochs, okay? Just try to pass 2,000 data. Okay, that's how. So like that actually, uh, you just need to pass all the data, okay, by, by the batch itself, okay? Don't give like all together, just try to give as a batch, okay? Like 2000s after again 2000s, okay? After again 2000s, that's how, okay? So here basically you are saving your memory, okay? So it is an, a, like very, uh, I mean, uh, important thing, okay? Whenever you are training your data, okay? And if I talk about like computer vision, if I if you are working with the images, so it's like, again like very important because metric size would be like very bigger okay if i talk about machine learning so at the time uh, it may work but if i talk about like deep learning okay it's like very difficult okay so that's why actually you need to also do the memory management so instead of giving all data together just try to give as a batch okay so now i have prepared one uh, like batch generator function already so let me show you so guys uh, this is the batch generator function here if you see so this function actually what it will take it will take your image path string angle batch size like how many batch size you want okay and is uh, is training okay if you are passing this argument as true so what it will do it will apply the augmentation okay and if you just give it as false it won't be applying the augmentation because see augmentation we only need to apply on my training data okay not on my validation data okay so that is why i'm keeping this argument now what it will do it will uh, like uh, do all the like pre-processing all the augmentation technique here if i show you so here if you see uh image processing it is applying and augmentation it is also applying if i show you see inside if your uh, is training is equal to true it will apply the augmentation random augmentation and here we have prepared this method i think okay final method random augmentation okay and this is our final preprocessing function image preprocessing here also i am calling this one okay so it will return as a batch okay it won't be returning all together it will return as a batch the batch size you will be like passing here okay now let's execute this function Okay, now let's uh, now let's apply this batch generator. Okay, on, on my data. So just for the testing purpose, I will just uh, give one batch size. Okay, batch size is equal to one because this is just for like testing purpose. Okay, but whenever I'll be uh, doing the training, at that time I'll increase this size. Okay, now here if you see this is my train batch. Here I am calling my train batch, and here I am like providing as true. Okay, here if you see is training is equal to true. So here actually it will apply the augmentation technique. And your validation, it won't be applying the augmentation technique. Okay, now let's execute. Okay, now to understand this one, let's also visualize this thing. Okay, guys, see, this is your training. Okay, this is your validation. So inside training, you will see it has applied the augmentation technique. But inside validation, you visit it. Okay, it hasn't applied the augmentation technique. Okay. So yes, I think we have successfully prepared our uh, like uh, batch generator. Now when I will be like uh, training my model at that time, I will call this batch generator and there actually I'll provide my batch size, okay? And it will be able to take your data as a batch and it will be able to train the model, okay? So there actually you won't be, uh, so there actually it won't be uh, like you can say crushing the memory, okay? So yes guys, I think that's all. So in our next video, we'll be uh, creating our NVIDIA model, okay? So thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.